Hey puzzle lovers, welcome back to another quick and clever matchstick challenge. On your screen, you'll see a simple arrangement of matchsticks. Your task is to move exactly two matchsticks so that the final figure contains two rectangles. No adding sticks, no removing sticks, no bending, just two precise moves that completely change the geometry. Here's an important clue. Every square is also a rectangle. This tiny detail is the key to unlocking today's puzzle. Your goal is to find a way where two small adjustments can create a structure that clearly shows two rectangular shapes. Pause the video for a moment and give it a try. Examine the boundaries, look for shared edges, and imagine how two sticks could open up space for a second rectangle. Once you have your guess, continue to see the solution. Let's break down the answer step by step. Two sticks have been highlighted here, one vertical and one horizontal. These two sticks, when moved correctly, will create the entire second rectangle. For the first move, take the vertical matchstick shown on the right side. Move this stick downward and place it horizontally. This becomes the base of the new rectangle. By placing it across the structure, you divide the space and create the lower boundary of the second rectangular shape. Now, for the second move, take the highlighted horizontal matchstick. Rotate it into a vertical position and place it on the left side of the new base just created. This completes the left boundary of the new rectangle. With these two moves, we now have a new rectangle created. Once both sticks are repositioned, you're left with one larger rectangle, one smaller rectangle, which visually appears as a square. Two rectangles formed cleanly with only two moves. Simple, elegant, and very satisfying. Great job taking on this puzzle. If you like this quick brain workout, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and drop your attempted answer in the comments before watching the solution. More clever matchstick challenges are on the way. Stay sharp and I'll see you in the next puzzle.